Hi hey all, Carrie Sykes here, and I am here to do a reveal on the 2023 Spellbinders Crafty Advent Calendar. This is your warning before I open anything, that if you do not want to know what's in this uh, Advent Calendar, do not watch the rest of this video or watch it after you already know. Uh, this will not involve any crafting. I may do that at a later time. Uh, this kit sells for right about 55 I believe. It's $5 more than it was last year. Uh, I did get mine off uh, scrapbook.com, but now it is available on spellbinders.com site also. Uh, if you were like me and the idea of spending over $50 for something without knowing what it is, is not something you're real comfortable with, um, then I would suggest you watch this so you know if it has items that you might enjoy. I was really impressed with last year's and did not get it in time because they sold out on day one before I even had a chance to buy it. So this time they seem to have stocked more. So here we go. Uh, I have cut around the shapes, but I do not know what the items are yet. I have not opened anything outside of making it where to be quicker for the video. Okay, so let's go. So we are going to start with day one, which is right here. And so let's see if I can get day one open. And, oh, okay, they have, ah, oh, okay. So they kind of show you in the flap what it's going to be. And then there's a little paper, it seems. So I'm going to keep mine intact there. But I can see here that it is a darling little car. I don't know if it's a Christmas car, but it's a darling little car. I'm going to keep mine in the bag, but you can see here what it's going to be. Okay, so let's go to day two. Over here is day two. Day two is a pretty decent size. And uh, don't look here if you don't want to know what it is before we do the reveal. Oh, okay, so day two is a lovely stamp. Oh, it looks like it's got two stamps to it. And that it has a sentiment and it has the flower. And I'm going to show you right here the sentiment in the flower. So that is day two. Gorgeous. Now day three, let's see if we can find day three. I believe it may be, here it is, it's on this side over here, day three. And let's hope I have that open enough. Okay. Whoops. I peeled that a little too much, but that's okay. Now we're going to peel the paper. Oh, okay, it's dyes. Excellent. The more dyes, the merrier for me. I do love Spellbinder dyes. They're always of a great quality. And you always know it's theirs because of the copper color. The only other one I know of that does copper is Anna Griffin. And so this, I don't know if it's an edge. It looks like it cuts here, so it may not be an edgeable, although possible. But it does have an edge over here. So it does look like it is a two-piece die. And it is, let's see here, looks like it's right at a little over four inches. So that's a lovely little die. Put that back in four. Okay. Oh, actually that one was three. Let's go to four now. Four is over here. There we go. I'm going to open four and peel the paper away. And it is also a die set with sentiments. And apparently it says from me to you in different pieces. And it does look like it has the shadows. I always prefer that when it comes to the words that I use. Okay. So now let's go to five. Five is over here in this corner. We're going to do, ooh, it's a long one. So let's see what five is. It does look like it's an elongated um, embossing folder. I'm not always the best at using these, but this one does look nice and long. Goodness. May not be able to get that out of there easily, but you can see that it is a polka dots, and you could do a polka dot stripe with that. So that is what's there. And I will measure this. And it looks like it's about five 
and a half inch long. Okay, so now six. Let's find a six on here. Six is right here. We're going to open that, peel away the paper. And six is dies. Oh my goodness, it's the one that was on the back cover. It is the cutest little turtle here. And you can see the different pieces here. But it makes a gorgeous little turtle. And the little turtle looks like he's going to be somewhere in the neighborhood of maybe an inch and a half when he's done. Okay, and then we have number seven is up here in the upper corner. And throw away the paper. Don't look at the pink unless you want to know before we look. Okay. Oh, it's a multi-piece stencil. I'm not always, uh, I've gotten to where I'm more into stencils, sorry, stencils here lately, but this one has multiple pieces. It shows you here on the cover here where there's three different ones to it. Excellent. And that stencil is a full, oh my goodness, looks like it's right under three and a half inches. It's a nice size on that. You could do four inch blocks easily with that. Okay, so let's go to number eight. And number eight's right here. Let's see here, where is the door thing? There it is. Okay, number eight is dies. Lovely. Here are the little dies. And it looks like it's toadstools or uh, mushrooms, whatever you want to call it. If you have some gnomes or a little princess setting, that would be lovely. It looks like you get two different size ones with it. Okay, so let's hurry and go to nine. And in nine, ooh, they're going to leave that one a total mystery. Nothing there. Oh, okay. Well, that explains why. It's a nice hefty bag of a pinkish red, look like they're kind of iridescent, uh, shaker dots. Excellent. I do like making shaker cards, so that's fun. Now we're going to go up here to 10. And we're going to peel open 10, and it does look like it's more dyes. Great. Okay, so we've got dyes, some kind of flower it looks like. There we go. And you can see the flower there, and it does come with a few leaves and maybe some berries. Excellent. Okay, so let's find 11. 11 is right here. We are going to find the opening for 11. There it is. And we are going to peel away the paper again. And this one looks to be uh, a die with... Uh, I call them embossed, but basically where it doesn't cut, where it does the letters. You could probably also use these with your Glimmerful system. Um, but you can see there, that's what they say. Just a note, you did it, a gift for you. And then it has the nice banner for the outside shape. So that's great. Okay, now the next one is going to be number 12. And here is number 12. Peel that back. Peel the paper. Ooh, lovely. More dice. And it looks like it is going to be, if you look there, little strawberries. And the leaves are actually pretty good size on that. Great. Lots of pieces to this one. So we've got strawberries. And what I'm going to do for the video is we're now at number 12, which is the halfway point. I am going to stop the video and I'm going to have a part two for people who can't do the full amount at one time, and that way you can divide it into two viewings. So I'm Carrie Sykes. Thank you for viewing. Uh, I've got other videos in my library. Watch for more to come. But this is the 2023 Spellbinders Advent Calendar. Thank you.